At around five o'clock in the afternoon, uh, Travis, our third son, and I were servicing a tractor in the shed right here where we are now. I suddenly felt this excruciating pain right in the middle of the chest, and I knew I was in trouble then. We'd been working together for a couple of hours. Um, um, I looked over at Dad and he was starting to vomit. I walked over and I said, what's going on? And he said, oh, I'm in trouble. I said, what do you mean you're in trouble? And he said, I've got chest pain. And he was, yeah, he was, he was vomiting. I said, right, I, <coughs> um, get in the ute. Decided to go in the Hilux, um, Bluetooth there. I thought it could be Andy. We were about just over 30 k's from Warrington Bill here. And I did very briefly consider calling an ambulance. And I thought, well, if this is really happening, we probably haven't got time by the time ring triple zero and, and go through that process. So um, decided to take the punt and, and drive him in. Um, I was pretty nervous about it, I don't mind telling you. Anyway, we got there and I walked in and um, I laid on the couch and uh, they gave me some adrenaline and some aspirin and a spray under the tongue. And uh, I don't remember a lot from there on. Dr. Franklin and uh, he had his nurse Debbie with him, who they were both fantastic. Um, I can recall saying to Dr. Franklin that I, um, I'm having trouble lifting my arms, I've got no strength in them, and then I just died. And the next minute, the next thing I recall was Lorraine was standing by my side. Uh, she got the message to come down to the surgery, and uh, she was rubbing her face, and I said, I think I've had a little sleep, and I obviously did have a little sleep, so. Uh, apparently I had the paddles on me. Uh, I woke up with a sore chest, because Franklin had obviously uh, given me a fair pounding to get me going again. Uh, the decision was made to try and fly me to Ballarat and the weather was so foul that night that they didn't want to fly. If we probably look into getting a defib out here I reckon um, it could help someone in our own family or a neighbour or anything that could be around here. Um, yeah, so it's certainly worth looking into. So, um, But the main message is that um, I honestly didn't have any real symptoms. Uh, I've never had, uh, had a cholesterol problem. I've had blood pressure problems since I was about 50, I'm 76 now, and, um, but controlled by medication. Um, on the Monday previous to this happening, um, I had a, a dull pain right in the middle of my chest, probably about four o'clock in the afternoon, and I get a bit of indigestion because I like highly seasoned food and I thought that's what it was. Uh, went home and had tea and it had gone, didn't even think of any more about it. Uh, but obviously that was a sign that I didn't, didn't realise what was happening. And I think the message is that um, to anybody who may be experiencing something like that, a change in their body, um, to, uh, to be aware of it and certainly get it checked out. Uh, I was round about 10 or 11 when they said I had the heart murmur, but nothing happened from the whole time at that age. I was 39 years old when I just could not get enough sleep or I was getting pains in the chest and I was get, losing my breath all the time. So I went to the doctors, they checked me out to see if it, because they thought it was chronic fatigue, but it wasn't chronic fatigue. They found out it was an enlarged heart after they did the tests on me, had to do the stress test, the walking test, everything like that to find out. They did an ultrasound on my heart. That's when they found out that I actually had the problem with my heart. And they decided to put me on medication. About 40 years old, they found out I was a type two diabetic as well. <laughs> so, I was doing a lot of pricking of with the warfarin plus with the type 2 diabetes. Now I hate needles. I really hate needles. <laughs> but I moved to Horsham in 2017. I was under Dr Wimry, my doctor, but before he passed away um, at Lister House. It was mainly him checking on me and everything. I never got to see another cardiologist, doctor or anything like that until I had my problem and I landed up in hospital November last year and that's when I got to see my cardiologist, Dr Rajiz. I had continuous pain in my right side of my abdomen, right, and it got to the stage where I could not handle the pain anymore so I ended up going to the Wimmera Hospital.
Dr. Rajiv is fantastic. He explains everything that a lot better than most of the doctors do on what he wants to do and what he wants to see and how things are going with me. And when um, we had, couldn't get to see each other, we did a phone call constant. And he was really interested in wanting to know everything that was going on, if I was getting any pains. and Because at one stage, I was just collapsing for no reason. And they and Dr. Raji actually found out it was one of the medications that I was on because I'd been on it for so long, it wasn't doing what it was meant to be doing. It was just slowing everything down and causing me to go down. I'd be walking down the street and then all of a sudden, bang! <laughs> so I have to thank Dr. Raji for a lot of things. So. <laughs>